welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Ariana Nicole, you know. We on a new journey here. Um, today's video is gonna be a question and answer video, getting to know me more. Um, I put a little thing on Instagram asking, you know, if you wanted to know something about me, slide up, Snapchat, Facebook, all that. I got a few questions from you guys and a few questions from myself that I want y'all to know. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. And y'all gonna see me pick this cup up a few times in the video because got a little hot tea for the throat. <laughs> if you know, you know. But uh, I'm gonna start off with, y'all, my dog is over here trying to play. No cash. Not right now, we working. Okay. First things first, let's just start off with my name. My name is Ariana. The last name doesn't matter. Um, nicknames that I go by or people close to me call me is Riri, Ri, or Ari. Some people call me Riri, some people call me Ari, some people call me Ri. I don't really care. It's all the same person. Y'all all know who I am. Um, my birthday, September 12th. Big Virgo. Y'all already know what's going on. Y'all already know who do it the best. You know, a couple months coming up. Your girlfriend will be the big 23. So yeah, I'm 22, I'm gonna be 23. Um, <clears throat> do I have any pets? I do have one puppy, Cash. Hey Cash, come here. Come here Cash. Come here Cash. You guys, this is Cash. <laughs> Say hey. He wants to play, but I can't play with you right now. Um, do I have any siblings? Of course, I have three siblings. My older sister, Brianna. My younger two brothers, Mason and Grayson. I love them to death. I would do anything for them. If y'all see this, love y'all. Um, which of my parents do I resemble the most? And I'm gonna say my mom because growing up, I was always with my mom. My dad is in my life, was in my life. But yeah, my mom is the one who I resemble the most because just knowing who she is, she's the type of person who gonna do anything for her kids, anything we ever needed, wanted. I'm not even going to say needed. If we wanted something, she was going to try her best to do what she needed to do to make sure that her kids were happy, make sure we knew we were loved, made sure that we didn't need for nothing. When it came to wants, you know, sometimes your parents can be like, you know, hold off on it. But needs, she was always there because my daddy wasn't always there because he had other stuff going on. But my mama, she'd go get her. And I know for sure I'm going to go get her. So my mom is the one who I resemble the most just because of the person she is. She um will give her person give a person her last. She will do anything for anybody. If somebody asks her for something, she won't hesitate. It's just the type of person she is. So of course my mom. That's my that's my twin. If y'all ever see her, you can be like, oh she looks like your sister. That's my mom. <clears throat> um let's see. Okay, so somebody asked me how much do I work out a week? And I've been slacking off lately, some stuff been going on, but usually I work out about four times a week. I do Monday through Thursday. And then I rest on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I got a little workout plan if you wanna know, you know. <laughs> cash, stop. If you wanna know, slide up. I'm like slide up, this is not Snapchat. I'm so used to Snapchat. If you wanna know, DM me. I put all my stuff in the description box. Cause I'm trying to stay away from Facebook. I'm gonna move more to Instagram. And that's probably gonna be it. TikTok, of course, to, you know, <clears throat> promote my stuff. Woo woo bam. Okay, next question is, what is your favorite holiday? Um, Thanksgiving, your girl love to eat. If you know me, food and then food and being around family, like that all comes together. But I love Thanksgiving, it's my favorite holiday. A lot of people are like, why you like Thanksgiving? Cause I like to eat. And then I get to meet family. Like family come in town from people you haven't seen from a long time. It's just, you know, a good little vibe with food. Can't forget that. <laughs> um, it says, what is the first thing you notice about people? And I'm going to just go for your personality. Like, when I'm talking to somebody, like, I don't judge free zone. I'm never going to be like, you can't tell me this, you can't tell me that. I can hold a conversation with a stranger. And I get to know you, like, okay, this is how person you are. Or 
this type of person you are. If you say something that's gonna throw me off, I'm like, okay, I can't trust this person with that, or I can't trust this person with that. Like, I just know I'm good about reading people. I can read, I'm gonna sit there and be quiet because I'm gonna read the room first if I say anything. And that's just, that's me. I notice vibes. Like, I catch up on them really, really fast. I'm gonna know if I can, if I can mess with you like that, or if I can't mess with you like that, I'm gonna know that off real. Like, when I, anytime I ever say something about a person, I always, I'm always right in the end. Like, it always unfolds to me every single time. So, personality, I'm gonna know that. Um, did you go to college? Yes. I went to college um, 2018 for nursing. Let's just say college tore my ass up. Excuse my French. But ever since I was a kid, I had a dream to be an RN, and that was like my... Nobody could tell me otherwise. Like, let's just put it that way. Got to college my first year. I just was like living free. I didn't care about nothing. I had no care in the world. That was the first time I've ever had the lowest grades in my life. In my first semester of college, I failed. Like, didn't care. Was partying, drinking. Like, the first night of college, I went out and got drunk. Who, you know? I look back on that and be like, I do want to slap, slap me. Because what was you thinking? But... I finally got accepted into the nursing program, y'all. I was, I'm telling you, was on top of it. Every single, every single test, I was on it like this. But you know, as time went on, things didn't go the way I expected them to, and that's okay. Like, don't let my story affect y'all story because it just wasn't for me anymore. Like after I had did all I could, like when I say I was 100% locked in, just to you know, at the end be like, oh, okay. It was y'all two points, two points. And I could I could have went back, but I'm like, I didn't want to. I still I still think about it every day. Like, do I want to go back? Do I want to go back? But I really don't know if I want to go back. And that's the honest truth. Like, when they say college isn't for everybody, college isn't for everybody. And I've learned to deal with that, that that's okay. I have other things in life that I'm, I got my ducks in a row. I got them lined up, so you know. College route just wasn't for me, and I will never, I don't regret nothing that I did in college. I had a great time. I met good people. So I don't regret nothing about college. I had a great time. If you want to go to college, go to college. If that's for you, that's for you. But it wasn't for me, and I ain't going back. So that's that on that. Um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Strawberry. I'm a strawberry girl. I love strawberry. Strawberry cheesecake, strawberry shortcake, strawberry. Strawberry, vanilla, strawberry. I don't like chocolate though. Can't do the chocolate. But yeah, strawberry is my favorite. Um, <clears throat> somebody asked me, what is your go-to hairstyle? Hold on, y'all, because I need some of this tea. It's all good. Okay, what is your go-to hairstyle? If you know, you know. The buzz down, middle part, jet black, 40 inch. I'm like 40 inch. I ain't never had no 40 <laughs> As long as I'd have been alive, I ain't never had 40 inches. But the bust down middle jet black. If you know, you know. That's my go-to. If I don't know nothing else to do with my hair, throw that wig off that bust down middle. It's going gonna, it's gonna to eat every time. On me, it's going to eat. But yeah. Um, what's my favorite fruit? It's between strawberries and watermelon. But I like all fruit. I'm a, I can eat some oranges, I can eat some mandarins, I can eat some grapes, green grapes, red grapes. I can eat any fruit, like, I will not turn down any fruit. I'll eat any fruit, but if I had to think, if I had to choose between my top, mm, strawberry and watermelon, every time, excuse me. Somebody asked me what's my favorite rapper, and lately, I haven't been listening to rap. I don't know if it's like me in my transition or something, but, Rap just don't do it for me no more. I don't like, when I listen to it, I'm like, okay. I'm more of a R&B latest. You know, I don't like that hardcore stuff no more. Like, I don't mind listening to it. I got a few songs. Like, if I'm a really pick, maybe Lil Baby, but he just got a, like, I'm not gonna sit down and listen to Lil Baby all day. I don't mind, but I have steered away from rap lately, and I don't know why. I just been on some soft, you know, healing, you know, actually, Listening to the music, that's what I've been on lately. So, if I'm gonna go for a favorite rapper, it's gonna be, it used to be Ghana, then he got locked up. I still love Ghana, that's my, I love Ghana. But I'm gonna go with Lil Baby. And I still am indecisive about that, cause 
I'm just the rap like that. I don't know. That's a good question because I have to really think about that. Lately, I have not been listening to rap. My favorite food, I'm not even going to pick one. I'm going to just tell y'all the category. When it comes down to seafood, I ain't saying no to nothing. Cash, get down. I'm not saying no to nothing. When it comes to seafood, shrimp, scallop, lobster, you name it, I'm going to try it. I love, like, when it comes to foods, anything under the seafood category, we go out to eat, I'm looking under the seafood category because I want to try something that's seafood salmon. Any of that, I'm going to bust it down every time. So if I got to go with my favorite category of food, we're going to go with seafood. Somebody asked me, <laughs> what is the best job I ever had? No, 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 because let me let you know something about Ariana. Let me just know something about Riri. Riri don't like working for nobody. I'm going to get up. And I'm going to do my job, and I'm going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. But I don't like working for nobody. I ain't finna be nobody's yes man. I'm not. The future that I got aligned for myself, I don't work for nobody. I don't. And I'm just doing it right now to get to where I want to be. But when I get to where I want to be, who finna work a 9 to 5? Ooh. I ain't a 9 to 5 girl. And that's why I ain't going to college, because I don't. What I want to do in life, I ain't clocking in for nobody. So, you know, clocking in for myself. And that's just period. Doing stuff for myself, doing stuff that I enjoy doing. I'm not going to say that I hate, hate, hate my job, but I will not be there forever. So, you know, they just, I ain't even going to say too much. But best job I ever had was none of them bitches. Excuse me. None of them. None of them. Next, my favorite shoe. I'm saying my favorite tennis shoe is ones or threes. I done fell in love with threes. I used to love ones, but I done fell in love with threes. And I ain't even bought me no shoes lately. I haven't bought myself nothing lately, but I'm gonna get, we're gonna get back on that. My favorite movie. If you know me, I shouldn't even have to say it. I should be like, what's my favorite movie? But y'all, it's Bad Boys. Bad Boys 2, to be exact. I can sit here and say the whole movie while it's working. Like, that is my favorite. I love them. Like them is my them is my people. You can't tell me nothing. I'm related to them folks. <laughs> Will Smith, that's my uncle. <laughs> and that last movie, y'all, I went to the movies and saw it. I was in there crying so bad. Cause I thought my boy Will was gone. <sighs> Cause I, I hadn't watched I hadn't watched none before. Cause I don't want to be spoiled. I want to just see what's gonna happen. Boy, I went to the movies and saw that the first ten minutes had me bawling. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what are y'all doing? Why is y'all doing this to me? I was so mad, y'all. I was so mad. But y'all, if you know me, I can sit there and watch Bad Boys every day. Say the whole movie. Um, <clears throat> favorite accessories. I'm a necklace and a ring girl. Like, I can, bracelets too, I love bracelets, but I only wear one, <laughs> my Pandora bracelet. I like necklaces, I'm gonna have a necklace on everywhere I go. If it don't go, I'm still having it on, I don't care. <laughs> It's like, it's a part of me. A necklace has, I, I don't feel right without a necklace on. And I'm falling into the, the glasses and the shades. Like, I'm in love with wearing glasses. And like, if I put on the feet, if I put that ears on, I'm gonna have some shades on. Cause I mean, who you know? But yeah, most definitely a necklace would be number one. Ring and, a, and shades. Um, favorite place I've been so far, so. It's between, y'all. This is hard because every trip I've been on, I have a good fuck. I have a good time. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm the life of the party. Life of the party. But I will say, when we went to Miami for my friend's birthday, when she turned 21, y'all, we was lit. I will forever remember that trip. It was a girl's trip. I will forever remember that. We had a great time. We had a great time. I ain't even gotta go into details because if you've been to Miami, you know Miami turn up. Miami get lit. But like on the chill, more chill side, when I went to Toronto and I went to Niagara Falls, y'all, that was so beautiful. Like that was a great, I had a good time in Niagara Falls. And every time I think about that, I'm like, dang, that was beautiful. That was a good, that goes down in the bucket list for sure. But between Miami and Toronto, Miami gonna forever be that lit, turned up trip. Toronto was more of a chill vibe, get to see nature. That was beautiful. And I would do it again. They like favorite alcohol beverage. What do y'all think I am? 
who do y'all think I am? But I done fell in love with Casamigos. Casamigo, yeah, let me tell you. You ain't waking up with no hangover. You ain't waking up sick. You ain't waking up. Drink the whole bottle. You gonna be okay. As long as you eat, you good. Casamigos gonna be right. I'm a tequila baby. Like, I love tequila. Don't pass me no brown. Don't pass me none that got brown. I mean, I can, <clears throat> like a strawberry Hennessy, ain't bad to me. Like, I can drink that. But if you pass me a shot of Hennessy, I'm gonna fall out. I'm gonna be mad. It's like gonna change my whole mood. I hate brown. Cause I got some bad stories when it comes to brown. Can't mess with it. Okay, um, y'all trying to get a little sentimental on me, but somebody asked me an interesting fact about me. And I'ma just say, this one makes me stand out. This makes me who I am. And I ain't gonna get all sad, but let's just, you know, run it back a little bit. So when I was a baby, I was born <clears throat> early. Very, very small, I was four pounds. But yes, I was born early, so I was premature. And then I was born with a hole in my heart and the name of this disease is called Tetralogy of Fallot. And let's just say, I put my mom through a very, very hard time. This was her second child, her first one. She had no, no, no worries, no complaints, no nothing, it was all good. Then I come along and yeah, I messed everything up. I don't say I messed everything up, but I gave my mom a hard time. From from zero to ten months, we was in and out of the hospital. Didn't know, like we knew what it was, but we thought it would be cured without, you know, all this other stuff. Man, it got to the point where helicopters was coming, having to get me, taking me to the emergency room. Like it got really, really bad. And then when I turned ten months, um, <clears throat> it just was one random night where I just was gonna give it all up, gonna give it all up. And my mom, she took me while into the hospital and she, I don't know, I was a baby, so I don't know exactly what happened. I just know the story that she told me. She was like, um, they couldn't get my IV, it wouldn't go through, so they were sticking me everywhere. Like, I'm 10 months old, I'm not even one yet, I'm a baby. So, you know I'm in there crying, I'm, I'm going crazy in the in the hospital. But <clears throat> I'ma try to say this without the tears falling because I've been through a lot. So, you know, it just makes me who I am today. But this one is the number one reason why I am who I am. Um, the doctors, nurses, they couldn't they couldn't get it over. So they ended up having to shave my head and sticking it in the top of my head. And that's when they finally got the IV in. Um, after that, I don't really know too much, but I know that I had to get surgery. And I have a permanent scar that runs from here all the way to right here. And one thing about this scar, it's gonna forever be with me. It's gonna forever tell my story. Cause the doctors told my mom surgery went well, but there's a 50-50 chance that she's gonna be a delayed child. Like she's not gonna be ahead. She's not gonna be with her, you know, basically with her age group. She's gonna be a delayed, like special ed type stuff. Like real talk, like the doctors told her, if I made it, if I did make it, that it wasn't gonna be easy. So, you know, if you know who I am, you see what I'm doing in life. It just says a lot. I ain't even got to go into full details about it. The doctor told my mama that I was going to be slow. I ain't even going to say slow, but that I wasn't going to be who I am. And I just come to say that God said otherwise. So while I'm here, I got I got a lot to do. I got a lot to prove. And I don't brag too much about what I do and how I do it because there's no point. Like, I know I'm supposed to be here for a reason. So I'm going to for sure make sure I stand on it. And I'm going to do everything that I'm supposed to do, what I have to do with full potential, and give it all I got. Let's just say the doctor was like, after she get her surgery, she's going to have to come back to the hospital this many times. She's going to have to get checked up this time. She's going to do this, do this, do this, do this. First of all, I ain't been to the doctor to get this checked up on in a while. When I was younger, something like, I don't think I was outside playing, and I couldn't, like, catch my breath. And I was scared. They took me to the hospital, but that was like, everything's fine. Like, it went from every year checkups, every two year checkups, to... You good, like, you know, if, if something happens, then you know, you can come back, but you're okay. You're good, you're fine. And I am a healthy person when it comes down to like sickness and all this stuff, I, I barely get sick like that. Like for me to have what I got going on, you don't catch me sick like that. So I'm just here to say that if you got a purpose on life, do what you're supposed to do. Cause this is all I need. This is all my mama ever had to tell me, ever. I was a straight A student on the road, when I say, when it came down to my grades, my mama ain't never had to worry about that. I was smart. 
I'm not even gonna say was. I'm still smart. I'm a smart person. Like I'm intelligent. I got my head on straight. I'm a, I'm mentally. I'm up here. I'm 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 I'm, I'm up here. And I ain't even gonna say too much, but I'm just gonna let y'all know that I ain't did nothing yet. What I got go, what I got planned for me, I ain't even happy yet. So college was a setback, but that that's only that's only motivation. That's only motivation. I'm not letting that dwell on me and I'm not letting that be a part of my life because that's not me. Like, of course, i you live and you learn, you grow out of it. You grow in and grow out of it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, figuring me out, figuring out what Ariana wants to do. And I've always wanted to do YouTube. Like, this is always something that I wanted to do. And I'm just taking me more serious now. It's bad. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Forget what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. So, with that being said, like, with this new channel of me, more, y'all going to see me and me only. Um, this channel is for me, for the girls. If anything y'all want to know, anything y'all want to talk about, I'm here. I ain't gonna hold nothing back from y'all. This is this is for the girlies. Um, I'm excited for this new journey, for this healing journey that I'm on. I got, I'm falling in love with me more, doing more for me. It's just, you know, 2023 has taught me a lot through this half mark that I gotta have me gotta have me so with that being said we're gonna be dropping i'm gonna be dropping the goodies for y'all i'm gonna try to do try to stay on top of it i'm in the process of moving so it's not gonna be steady steady right now but i just wanted to know let y'all know that i'm here like this is what i want to do so this is what we gonna do and for my supporters and my subscribers and all that i love y'all so much i won't let y'all down we're gonna do this so y'all just get ready um, one last question before I end this video is, what are my life goals? And I'm not going to go deep into them. I'm just going to do like the main categories like wealthiness. I'm going to be wealthy. I'm going to be a wealthy black girl. Remember that. I'm going to be a wife. Remember that. I'm going to have a big family. Remember that. And when it comes to my career, I'm going to work for myself. So those are the goals that I am working towards. I'm not even gonna tell y'all everything that it falls up in those categories, but just know I'm working towards me. And when I mean me, I mean me. I'm putting me first, loving me first. Whatever Ariana needs, Ariana's gonna get. So that's all for this video, guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed that. Enjoy getting to know me more. Y'all gonna see me a lot. This ain't the end. This is not the beginning. This is, we just getting started. We just getting started. And I just want to let y'all know, for the people that are tuning in, for the people who have watched this video, thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I'm going to forever love y'all. Um, if y'all subscribe, tune in, show love, I got y'all. Because this is where we're going to be. This is where I want to be. So this is what we're going to do. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching my video. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye.